This video will show you how to perform various different statistical calculations on your Casio graphical calculator. You need to be able to work out the standard deviation, correlation values and regression line uh, for your different exams, especially with the new A-level system. It's very helpful to be able to do this. So it's all done in the statistical mode. So we're going to press the menu button and then go across to the statistics. So I'm just pressing right and then execute and it'll take us in there. Now I've got some data that I've been using previously. If I wanted to get rid of this, if I press the uh, button directly under this arrow, it'll take me to a mode that I can either delete, which will just delete that particular cell, or delete all, which will delete everything in that column. So we go, yes. Okay, I'm just gonna put some data in here. So just storing, pressing, uh, typing in the number and then pressing execute each time. So let's just store some different values in there. There we go, we've got five values. Okay, so now if I press the uh, arrow button again, I can get back to calculations. And what I want to do is I want to do a calculation based on just these numbers here. So this is going to be one variable calculations because I've only got some x values in there. So I press one variable and it's got all of these different calculations. We've got our mean value, sum of x, sum of x squared. We've got our standard deviation, this uh, lowercase sigma x, and sx, which is the um, population uh, uh, variance, but we don't need to worry about that one if we're just doing A-level maths. We've got N, and if we scroll down, we've actually also got the minimum values, the quartiles, and so on. So it'll do each of those calculations for us. Okay, well, that's all fine and well, but what if we have um, several values of X which are occurring multiple times? We'll press execute. I'll come back in here. Maybe the value 5 occurs 8 times. Well, I can store that in a separate mode. 6 occurs 4 times. 8 occurs 3 times, 4 occurs 7 times, um, oh I've got 6 again, let's just change that to be 9, and uh, 9 can occur 5 times. Okay, so now we've got some x values and their frequencies. Well again, we can do one variable calculations on this, that's absolutely fine, but now we need to tell it that it's getting the frequencies from this list. So we're going to go into the settings, and here we can see that it's taking the x values from list 1, but it's taking the frequencies all as being one. If I scroll down, and then I can change that to take it from list, and typing in two, and there's the uh, statement that it's taking the, the frequencies being from list two. Press execute again, now do one variable calculations. We can see we've got different values, and of course our n value is 27. And again, we've got each of those things calculated down there that we're not gonna worry too much about so far. But of course, we've got our standard deviation that's the one that we really need. Now it might be that for some reason we want to use parts of these calculations in there uh, to do other calculations. So if I press menu and one, now I can go into my variables button, it appears a little dark on this video, but pressing variables there and going into statistics mode, we can now go into x and we can use each of these to do different calculations. So there's my sum of x, which I could use to do any calculation that I would want to then carry on with. So that's all nice and straightforward. Coming back to the statistics mode though, what I can also do is I can get it to do other calculations. So I can get it to do a regression analysis on this. Pressing regression, we are presented with a range of different options here. We're probably going to want to use this one. This is straight line um, regression, so this is approximating everything to a straight line as opposed to a uh, quadratic or whatever it might be, a bunch of other options over there. I'm simply going to press that. Now we're given two modes here. This is for the equation of the straight line, and it just depends which one you want. So do you want y equals ax plus b or y equals a plus bx? It doesn't really matter which one of these you press. I'm going to press the first one, and we can see that we've got the regression analysis there. We've got y equals uh, ax plus b, so this is our gradient and this is our intercept, and we've got our correlation value appearing for R. This is the product moment correlation coefficient. R squared and MSE, we probably don't need to worry too much about at this stage, but we've got A and B, so we've got our regression line. Now we've got minus 0.68 and 9.79. Just to show you, if I press exit and we press the other one, we've got A plus BX. Now we've still got the same values, you notice, it's just now they've swapped over there the other way around. So it doesn't matter which one we press, as long as we remember to look down there to find out what format we have put it in for our um, the equation of our regression line. But regression, correlation, very easy to calculate using our calculator. And of course, we can come back and change these around and do whatever we need to as well. 
Now, if these were x and y values, so these aren't frequencies, all we're going to do there to do calculations, of course, is we're now doing two variable calculations. So we've got a bunch of x's, a bunch of y's, and two variable calculation. It will then still work out uh, what we've got going on. We've got the standard deviation of each of those as well, and all of the different modes that we need there. So we can do a whole range of calculations very simply using our graphical calculator, which is invaluable if you're trying to solve the different problems in the exam. Okay, there you go.